Let's face it, data can be overwhelming, hard to process, and just downright scary sometimes. Well, I'm here to make data your new best friend. I'm going to show you how you can create your first dashboard in less than four minutes. Let's get started. You'll find an analytics tab in your My Stuff area, any of your parent workspaces, as well as any of your sub workspaces. You can see here that in the analytics tab under marketing, there's this core KPIs dashboard that gives you a glimpse into what your dashboards can eventually look like. So let's get you into creating one. If I come back up here to my stuff and I come to the analytics tab, I'm going to select add new dashboard here and I'm prompted to select my data source. Depending on the account that you logged in with, if you logged in with your Google or Microsoft, your cloud storage provider is added for you automatically here. And as you add new cloud storages to your Slingshot account, they'll also be present here. Here is where you could select any of your data sources that you wanted to add or connect to, such as your Google Analytics, Google Ads, Facebook, Twitter, Salesforce. But for this, we're going to use some sample data down here. So I'm going to select sample data, and this is in the products for you to use as well to test and get a feel for dashboards. And it's essentially an Excel file out on the web. So you can see here that I have all of the different sheets within my file. And we're going to go with the marketing one. So we'll click select data. And I'm brought into the visualization editor. For whatever data source that you're using, you can see that up here. You have the ability to edit, refresh, and you can edit to switch that data source. All of the fields available to you in your data source are right here. And then you have your settings for whatever chart type that you're using. So by default, we have a pivot table selected for you out of the box. So you can see some settings here that you have. And then here is where you would select your different chart types. You can see a wide range of different visualizations that we have here to select from. So let's say we want to create a line chart. We'll come here to line. You can see some of the settings changed a little bit. We'll come back up to the data. And what we want to look at is we want to look at by month, we want to see our traffic. So all I did was pull over month traffic. And just like that, I have my first visualization over here. I'm going to come up to the rename and do traffic. Click done. And I'm going to click the check up here. Now what I want to do is I want the ability to kind of filter my date range up at this dashboard level. So I'm going to go into add filter, click date filter, connect. And what Slingshot will do is we will recognize the date field that you're using in your data source. If you had two, for example, uh, close date and open date in sales, it would just prompt you to select that date range. For this, I want to see last 365 and I'll click Create Filter. And you can see how my data now changes. So now we can quickly add another dashboard here. Um, so if I come up to the Add Visualization, I have the ability to select a totally different data source if I wanted to, or I can just use that same data that's in this um, dashboard, which is what I'm going to do. So I will come to Samples. I will select Marketing again. And now I'm going to select a donut chart. And for this donut chart, we want to see conversions by territory. I'm going to connect it to that filter I created right from here. And we're going to do conversions. I'm going to hit the check up here. And just like that, I have two charts already. They're equally split between the screen, but you have a full range over the order of these, how they appear in your dashboard, uh, where you want them to be placed. So I can just reorder these a little bit here. And what we're going to do is a little bit of a shortcut where I'm going to come up here, click duplicate, size this so it fits on my screen. We'll size this one out a little more as well. And then I'm just going to come into edit mode here. And what we're going to create now is a combo chart. So I'm going to leave month. I'm not going to use traffic, but I am going to use my spend versus my budget. My spend, I want it to be a currency. So I'm going to click on this field where you have the ability to change your aggregation if you want to see an average spend. 
Uh, but for this, I'm just going to click currency, leave the other fields the same, click update, and we're just going to do spend versus budget. We will come here and do the same thing with the currency. And then once I'm happy with this, I'm just going to hit the check up here. I'm just going to make this a little bigger to fill up this dashboard. And I'm going to give this a name for marketing um, KPIs. And once I'm happy with my dashboard, I'll hit this check up here, select where I want to save it. I'm going to just save it to my stuff here. And just like that, you have your first dashboard. And I actually think that was less than four minutes. Not so bad, right? And there's so much more where that came from. Check out my other videos on data analytics within Slingshot so you can start making data-driven decisions.